Hey Gemini, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for April 19th to the 20th of 2023. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Gemini. Next 48 hours for Gemini. Who does Gemini need to know for April 19th to the 20th of 2023? I see a car. And I heard the words pop out. So I don't know if you're going somewhere, someone's pulling up on you, you're pulling up on someone. Fly, this eve. Owl wisdom. I saw a navy blue car, but of course everybody's car is a navy blue. <laughs> Seal vulnerability. Over RNG is spider deception. Ooh, Lord. Someone's sick and they're lying about it. And um, it could just be a simple cold. Don't let somebody come over your house in the next 48 hours if you can tell they're sick, like in their voice, but they acting like they're not, or they coming around you coughing or their nose is running, and you looking at them like this. You may be vulnerable to someone's like sickness if you allow them to come over in the next 48 hours. Especially today, it's like windy and the you know the weather's been up and down lately. One minute it's like freezing cold and raining and the next minute it's hot and it's like what is up and down people are getting sick so if someone's sneezing and coughing their nose running they're like oh it's just allergies or they their voice is like you know weird nah don't let this person come around you you know with our wisdom either you know this person to get sick around this time or you've heard something about this person being sick or you just know the telltale signs you could just tell something's wrong with our wisdom been there done that you could tell something's wrong and this person's going to make you vulnerable to their sickness if you allow them to come around you, especially with spider deception. They're trying to hide it. They're lying. Someone is sick and they're hiding it. So let's get into the tarot and see what else is going on for Gemini in the next 48 hours. What does Gemini need to know? King of Pentacles could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Now, it could be someone is stressed. They don't have to have a physical sickness. Someone could just be stressed out and they're lying and acting like they're not. Or someone could have like a mental health issue and they're acting like they... I'm getting the word temporary. So temporary insanity, if someone could be temporarily insane. I know it's going to manifest differently for everyone. Someone, for some of you, someone could be physically sick. Or it could be mental, it could be spiritual, it could be anything. Six of Wands, victory, success, praise, public acknowledgement. Queen of Pentacles, ooh. Eight of Pentacles, so it's a, someone you work with. It could be a coworker or someone you own a business with. Overall energy is the Two of Pentacles. So I don't know if you have a business with someone for some of you or someone you work with, a coworker, or someone you work in the same field with. This could be a couple around you as well. If it's not involving you directly, it could be a couple around you. This couple could be in the public eye or they could um, have a business together. They could be getting a lot of victory, success, praise together. And on the surface, it looks very successful, um, Six of Wands, but behind closed doors, um, they're very stressed. Yeah, someone's very stressed behind the scenes. So this is about someone being stressed out. Either you know the telltale signs of it, even though someone's saying that they're all right, you can tell. Or um, someone's coming and confessing that things are not all what it seems. And it may take you by surprise. Someone's being vulnerable with you about this in the next 48 hours. So let's clarify. I don't know why someone's hiding this from you. I don't feel like they have malicious intent or anything. I just feel like someone does not want you to know that they are like stressed out or, or sick or something. Clarifying the king of pentacles is the queen of cups. Ten of Wands. Yeah, so someone, it is, um, for some of you, it's emotional stress that one of them is dealing with. A couple may come to you complaining. One person may talk about how they are emotionally stressed out. Like they feel the weight of a, a relationship or a job and they're just stressed out emotionally. They may confess this to you. Clarifying a Six of Wands is Page of Wands. 
and the strength card Leo. In other words, there is a new idea that you have that comes to you and it's going to get you a lot of attention. It's going to be very successful. So if you have a business idea or any type of idea or just energy in general, it's going to make you very successful. So say, for instance, you get the sudden urge to paint something. Do it as soon as you get the urge. If you get the sudden urge to, I don't know, work out or go to the gym, do it. You'll be very successful with the strength card. I feel like you get an idea, page of wands, and then you put energy behind it. If you act on it immediately, it'll be very successful. Could be a younger fire sign, a Leo around you as well, who's asking for your attention, who wants your attention, or who needs a creative outlet. Especially if you have a Leo child or child with Leo placements, they need a creative outlet. Clarifying the Queen of Pentacles is the King of Swords. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Okay. Um, you could have Virgo in your chart to be dealing with one, but, or it could just be the energy that you're embodying. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you're coming up with an idea that will increase your financial independence or you are gaining more financial independence in the next 48 hours. There's an amazing idea that's going to get someone a lot of attention here. You could start your own business or a hobby could turn into a business or something like that. But if it's not that, if it's career, you're implementing a new idea, a new system, or someone here is that's going to benefit you highly and increase your financial independence. Clarifying the eight of pentacles of the ten of swords. So you have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. And, oh, I feel like stress is being alleviated. I love this for you. Seven of Cups. So there's a lot of avenues, a lot of offers, a lot of opportunity, or just it was a lot on your plate. When it came to work, I feel like you have to do everything for everyone or you just had a lot to do, a lot of work that needed to get done, right? And it just, you were moving so much that it put you in a tailspin. I feel like you were juggling a lot of things. With the Seven of Cups, clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, you were juggling a lot. It was a lot of work for you to do. And it stressed you out to the point where you just like, uh, or if, if not you, someone around you, over around you, the page of cuts. So someone may offer to help you out. Yeah, two of pentacles. Someone's juggling a lot and they're stressed out. I wanted to say stressed out in their marriage for some of you. And both people in this relationship could be coming to confide in you about how you do it, like how you stay stress-free or how, you, how you're how you making your own money or your own business or how to be independent financially. I feel like both these people are coming to you to vent. Now, if it's not a couple, this is your relationship. You're doing well while the other person is stressed or your coworker is stressed. Because I see that you're succeeding in this career or with this new um, system that's being implemented at your job. You're succeeding here because I'm seeing you as the king of swords here, clarifying the queen of pentacles with the nine of pentacles. You're doing well, but there's someone here who's stressed out emotionally as a coworker or a partner or a friend, someone who either works in the same field or who's trying to keep up with you or something like that. You have a friend or a counterpart here, this king of pentacles is not doing so well. I feel like someone's heart is not in it or emotionally they are stressed with this queen of cups. Whereas you, yeah, because this is like Someone's trying to work from a heart space, whereas you are working from your mind and physical with the King of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, while this person here, the King of Pentacles, is working with the Queen of Cups. They're, they're working through their emotion, and it's not benefiting them. It's stressing them out, or they're letting relationship issues interfere with their work. It could be a workplace romance as well that fell apart. Someone mixed that. I feel like you separated yourself from this and you're independent of this and it's stressing someone out. So for example, say for instance, this part ain't gonna be for all of you. This is just an example. Say for instance, you messed around with a coworker and for one reason or another, y'all broke it off or you just stopped, it wasn't no hard feelings, it just ended. You went on just fine, nine of pentacles with the king, you went on just fine. While it's causing this person stress at work, they can't focus, they can't think, 
And it might even have been their idea. It doesn't matter who's decided. It just fell off. And you're doing fine. They're stressed. The more you show up to work fine, the more and more stressed this person becomes. I just feel like this person can't keep up. Like the hard work that's being given out is work. You're working just fine through it. This person is like going under. The seven of cups is confusion, illusion. And it's all because of work. Stress. It's too much. They can't handle the workload with the ten of swords. So they're letting their relationship or emotions interfere with their job. Someone could have found out that their spy, spouse was cheating on them. So say, for instance, you're in a relationship and they cheated. It's stressing them out. Because either the affair ended or they realized the person that they cheated with like has issues or they're delusional or whatever. You're single. You're doing well. Even if you're married, you're, you could be separated or you're just not anywhere around this. <laughs> it's not bothering you whatsoever. You're handling things just fine. This person is not. It is taking them under. Whatever this is, it's taking them under. Even if at one point this work stress or this relationship was stressing you out, it's not anymore. You have the Ten of Wands, a heavy burden to put to rest because you're happy to be done with this. They were like a burden to you. You're happy to worry about yourself now financially. And with the Ten of Swords, the cycle of backstabbing and betrayal is over. The worst part of a situation is over when it comes to work and love. I feel like you are just much happier working alone or being single while it's causing this person confusion. I feel like you kept this relationship going or you kept this business going. And now it's much easier to just focus on yourself. But this person's like falling under. And whoever they cheated on you with or chose to replace you is like... The Seven of Cups, I don't know if this person has a drinking problem or they pop pills that keep them confused. This person that they chose over you, this water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, has them like, they have to baby this person. This person is constantly in an illusion. They constantly have to sacrifice a lot and do everything to take care of this person because this person is constantly like in a delusion of some kind. And it's stressing this person out. All right, let me get you your final message. <laughs> for Gemini you may not even realize what's going on around you or you may not even care because <laughs> it's not your problem it's the life they chose <laughs> now we have milk nourishment parents nostalgia that's what this person has to do now with this person they're babying them they have to uh, parent this person this queen of cups that they chose over you they have to do this with them. They have to the seven of cups them every day. And also they have to do all the cooking, cleaning, working and everything. Eight of pentacles every day. And it's causing them a ten of swords and a ten of wands. This person's a burden to them. This water sign is a burden to this person. And now they have to baby this person and do all the work and sacrifice and everything. And you're like, who's, whose fault is that? <laughs> and look, praying mantis, wit, manipulation, fun. Maybe this person at one point thought this was all fun and games. I feel like this person is being deceptive about how they're sick. They're stressed. They're trying to act like they put on the front, like everything's great. They're happier without you or they made a better choice. Or maybe this person doesn't want you to know that they're cheating or whatever. I don't feel like, um, I feel like if someone is cheating or whatever, you would already know because you're showing up as the nine of pentacles. You don't care. You're separate from this person. Mushrooms, quiet growth, the hidden peace. You're doing well. I feel like out of nowhere, someone comes and confesses to you how stressed they are. Cut the deck and see wolf. The self without others are calling the great expansion. Overall energy is spider. Focus, planning, digesting. So out of nowhere, in the next 48, someone's going to call and confess or confront you about how stressed they are. All right. I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.